In this video, we're going to solve for the competitive equilibrium based on 900 identical consumers in the market, each with the following utility function, and 250 firms in the market, each with the following production function. So again, this market consists of 900 identical consumers, with each having the following utility function, and each consumer is going to have $100 of income. As for firms, there are 250 firms, each with the following production function, and the wage rate is $10. We want to solve for the competitive equilibrium price and quantity. We're going to start with the demand side. We're going to first solve for the individual consumer's demand. We're going to do that by getting the utility maximizing condition. So first we'll get the margin utility of good X for consumer I, taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good X we get back y, and then getting the marginal utility of good y. For consumer i, we take another partial derivative, this time with respect to good y, and we get back x. To maximize utility, we set the marginal rate of substitution, the marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y, and we set that equal to the price of good x divided by the price of good y. So we're going to substitute in for the marginal utility of good x, it is y, the marginal utility of good y, is x, and we're going to solve this for y. Next, we're going to plug this result into the consumer's budget constraint, which is income, $100, equals the price of good x times units of good x, plus the price of good y times units of good y. So we're going to make a substitution in here for y. We're going to plug in this right here. So making that substitution, and then noticing that the price of good y here, those terms cancel. and you'll get the demand for good x. So this is the individual consumer's demand for good x. Simplifying a little bit, 100 divided by 2, we have this result. Now to get the market demand, to get the market demand, since we have 900 consumers, it's just going to be 900 times the individual consumer's demand. So where we have x subscript i here, we're just going to plug in 50 divided by the price of good x and simplify this is the market demand for good X. Now let's get back to the firms. There are 250 firms, each with the following production function, where L is units of labor and X is the quantity of good X. The wage rate is $10. We want to solve for the firm's marginal cost, and then from there we're going to get the firm's supply curve. So we're going to start by solving this production function for units of labor. Scoring both sides, we have that result. Next, uh, recognizing that the firm's cost is variable cost, the wage times units of labor plus fixed cost, we're going to substitute in uh, for L here, x squared divided by 4. Next, we can substitute the $10 for W. Simplifying that a little bit, 10 divided by 4. And now let's get marginal cost. We'll take the derivative of the firm's cost function with respect to good x, and we get 5x. In perfect competition, the price equals marginal cost. So making a substitution here for MC, replacing that with the price of good x. And now to get the individual firm supply curve, the individual firm supply curve, we solve this for x. And we have the following result. Now to get the market supply, we are told that there are 250 firms identical to this one. So 250 times the individual firm supply will give us the market supply. So 250 times the price of good X divided by 5 gives us the market supply equation. Now let's get to equilibrium. We're going to set the quantity demanded equal to the quantity supplied. Doing that, making our substitutions, and now solving for the price of good x. And taking the square root of both sides, the equilibrium price is $30. And the equilibrium quantity, just take this $30 and plug it back either into the market supply or market demand curve. I plug it in here, the market supply curve, and we get back 1,500. So that is the equilibrium quantity, 1,500 units of good x. The individual firm just plugging this $30 into the individual firm's 
supply curve, the individual firm will supply six units. And plugging that $30 into the individual consumer's demand curve, which is 50 divided by the price of good X, the individual consumer will buy 1.67 units. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.